Hey guys, so if you recognize one of these, you're in the right place. We're going to talk uh, PRC 349s, and in particular, the battery cassette cases that take the 10 AA batteries. And we're going to go through uh, troubleshooting of these things, and uh, how to go from one that's not working to one that is working. So, let's go through it step by step. So first things first, if you got a non-working cassette, you need to look at your batteries. Here's two examples right here. You got Duracell on one side and you got EverReady. So you'd think both of these would work, but that's just not the case in these cassettes. If you look at the bottom, the negative end, the Duracell got a raised and flat surface, while the EverReady is depressed and has a little indentation in there. These uh, EverReady batteries with the indentation, sometimes you can get them to work, but sometimes they'll make you chase your tail. So just stick with a battery that has a raised flat surface. So first things first, how do you get one of these dudes apart? Well, you got that first screw in there that's retained by a little o-ring on here. These o-rings get stiff over time and it may take a little bit of force to uh, extract it. And it might be a good idea to put a little bit of um, rubber safe grease on there when you reinstall it. So this can just simply get pulled back out. Then on the top here you got the uh, other sur surface with uh, some knurling on it and you can just simply unscrew that and separate the two ends. So battery in insertion is pretty straightforward. The cases are marked nicely. Plus side has the tip goes down and negative side the base goes down. And just fill the box up. Oop, put that one backwards. So it's a good idea to check yourself, right? So what you can do is you can take the other side of the cover and you can line it up with the battery. So if you got this uh, receptacle lined up with this uh, male end then you can uh, just go down the diagram negative positive negative positive negative okay looks good let's flip it to the other side positive negative positive negative positive awesome so then you just thread it together And let's check the voltage on this before we get too carried away. Fifteen volts. Good battery case, right? Let's test it. Good shape, awesome. Let's try to find one that ain't working. So here we got one. This is a Burke's uh, radio cassette case. And uh, I got 10 batteries in there right now. And we're getting like 0.1 voltage, if that. So let's open it up and see what we can find. So 
So first things first, let's look at this. It doesn't look like there's too bad a corrosion on there, but I've run into it where there was, and I had to take a little piece of sandpaper and sand the corrosion off. Let's look underneath so under the uh, underside of this, maybe check this fuse. So you got uh, right here this post, and it says unlock. And what you got to do is uh, rotate it. See, like that. It's a D shape. So you got to rotate this D shape to line up with the D shape that this circuit board is uh, cut into it. And then you can just shake it. And oh, you got a spare fuse in here sometimes. I got lucky on this one. I got one. That's cool. It might come in handy. There you go. Okay. So it, after enough shaking, it just falls out. So let's check this fuse in here. We'll uh, flip it over for uh, continuity. Okay, cool. So the fuse is good. So with that in mind, let's uh, see about cleaning out these contacts a little bit. And we'll give each one of these little posts a little bit of rub, sandpaper. There might be a better way to do this, maybe some contact cleaner or whatever. But this is what I got handy. And I'm not really taking any material off, I'm just giving her a little scrape. Get rid of whatever guck that might have accumulated over the 40 plus years this thing has been used let's put it back together let's throw that spare fuse back in there turn that post and we'll reassemble this battery Okay, got her back together. Let's check voltage now. Awesome. 15.6 volts. Let's check to see if it functions. We're off to the races, guys. So here's another thing I want to touch on, guys. So we're showing uh, no voltage on this, right? Watch this. This will be the difference between a working and non-working unit. Snug her up just a little bit more. Bam. Good to go. So, I know what you guys are thinking. When you see these tabs here, you're like, I'm going to bend them. And that's going to get in and work. And to be honest with you, there has been some of these cases where I had to go through and bend these tabs. But as you saw, there was a whole bunch of other steps I needed to do first before I start cranking on these. Okay.